Someone can submit to Satan. Someone uh, can submit yes. to God. Someone can submit. So yes. submission is, is a broad way of, uh, unless if it defines in a way that submission to God, you, specif you specialize it that way. You know what I mean? But if you say uh, submission, yeah. for me, I might understand it, like as I said, submission can be submitting to anything. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Can I, let me just get a Quran. I want to show you a verse. No, I don't need to see a verse. Okay, no problem. I, I used to read yeah. sometimes, yeah. Okay. Submission, as human beings, we understand submission is two. Yeah. Okay. All of the creation mm -hmm. that God has created has submitted to him. Okay, mm -hmm. the sun, the cycle the sun takes coming up in the morning, going down in the evening, it's submitted to God. The rain falling, the plants growing, it's all submitting completely to God. As a human being, the fact that we are in our mother's womb for approximately nine months, and then we come out as a baby, our teeth begin to grow, we begin to walk, etc., etc. We become tired, we become hungry, we become sick, we, may, we die. All of this is completely submitting to the will of God. No one can put this back. Yeah. Okay. So that's one form of submission. But as human beings, God, Allah, has given us free choice. So who is Allah? I'll come to that, but just on the word submission. So, so, so when we submit to God, it means that God, he sent, we have a choice in this now. God has sent messengers and they came with books. And we have a choice whether we, once the message comes to us, we have a choice whether we're going to accept it and follow it according to the best of our ability or whether we're going to reject it. So this is Islam, once the, uh, the message from God comes to us, once the messenger comes to us, once the book comes to us and we accept it and we choose to follow it, yeah. then this is, this is also submission. Okay. But this is the submission which we have a choice. As for who is Allah, Allah is the name of the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who sent Abraham, the one who said Noah. No, Allah, is it God? Yes, it is and the that's God. That's what I want yeah. to yes. understand. Yes. Because if you say Allah and you say God, I, I'm thinking you're saying two different things. But okay. if you define Allah as God, yes. based on your language, uh -huh. uh, like in my, tip, in my native language, we call God some names uh -huh. that is not in English. I, I understand, you understand, yeah. So yeah. In, in different uh, languages, yeah. they have names. They yes. call God. Yeah. You understand? But God is, I would say, his English name. So yes. which every country or German, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, can call God based on their own language. Uh -huh. It means the same thing. Did you understand? Yes. So well, my, my own belief, yeah, uh -huh. my own belief is if, if a Christian speak to me about God and say that they believe in God, yeah. yeah? And um, what they do and what they say is according to God's will, yeah. and they corresponded to God's message uh -huh. through His uh, uh, prophets. Yeah, I will be with that person. Okay, but it doesn't matter, irrespective of whether Christian, whether Hindu, whether uh, Muslim, whether. Uh -huh. As long as the person is speaking the language of God, okay, I will be with the person. Uh -huh. I'm a Christian. If a Christian, if my fellow Christian is telling me about God, yeah, and is not doing what God's required, uh -huh. I'm not with the person. Okay, sir. Do you understand what I mean? You made two points. Yeah. One of them I want to just. Uh, this is the main point which you just yeah. said, but one I want to address very quickly. Obviously, when we talk about God, yeah. when we talk about the Creator, when we talk about the Provider... No, when we talk about the uh, Creator, that's God. So yeah. we don't... Let me, let me finish, let me finish. Yeah. We can use our language. Yeah. We can use that, because that's what we understand. Yeah. But, also, when it comes to who is God, His names and His attributes, He has actually revealed them. And once He's revealed something, yeah. like Allah, Ar-Rahman, which means the Most Merciful, Al-Khaliq, the Creator, we can only call upon him by those names. That's, that's, that's one thing. But as for discussing about God, then we can use the language which we know. But that's one point. But the second point you mentioned about submitting to God. When we submit to God, 
There's a verse in Quran where Allah mentions, O you who believe, enter into Islam fully, completely. So when we submit, we have to accept everything that has come from God. So when you say Christian, Muslim, Hindu, and if you mention anyone else, all of them cannot be the same and all of them cannot be worship, worshipping the same way or following the same way. We have to investigate, we have to find out which is really from God. If I give a very brief example, Jesus, okay? When Jesus came, <clears throat> what we know is that some people rejected him. They said he was a false prophet, namely the Jews. They said he was a false prophet and they accused his mother of indecent acts, of having a child out of wedlock. Then you had those people who said that Jesus was God. But also you had those people who said, no, Jesus was a man, he was a messenger, he was a worshipper of God. So now you have three different ways. All of them can't be right. So it's, it's important to submit to God, but we have to submit to what God came with. We can't make up our own way or pick and choose. Yeah, uh, but my, my, my belief personally, yeah, because uh -huh. I, I read my Bible, uh -huh. sometimes I read Quran too. Yes. Okay. Um, my, my belief, because um, when I read, I yeah. pray for God to, to help to interpret it well for me and uh -huh. for me to understand it. Well, yes. You know. So, because some people misinterpret the word. Yes. But based on what God said, He said, do not add, do not subtract. Do not subtract, or do not do add. Not, don't, okay. don't add, yes. don't subtract, leave it as yes. it is. So, yes. when I read, for example, someone, whether a Christian or whatever, come uh -huh. talk to me, yeah? yeah, whether in the church or whatever, yeah. I make notes, yeah. I listen. Yes. When I go home, I read my Bible yeah. and check if what the person said is uh -huh. corresponded from yes. what is written. Okay. If it's not, you do you understand? I because understand. Because that person I is a human being. People can, yeah, people they interpret they things, yes. Based on, on I understand. Their own understanding. Uh -huh. But to know the real truth is uh -huh. when you take the book yeah. and read it, uh -huh. then understand what God uh -huh. said. For example, if God said, um, this and somebody interpret it in a different way, yeah, which will you find it very um, you feel uncomfortable, say, yeah, yeah. So, I will not say, Oh, this or that, because that person is still a human being, you understand? That yeah. person is still a human being, they yeah. interpret the way they understand, uh -huh. but why people fail to understand because they don't read, okay? So, because, because they don't read, so yeah. they believe on everything. Uh -huh. Another person said to them, okay, and they act on that. Uh -huh. But if they can read, yeah. they will understand more. Okay, understand. So, for me, as I said before, as long as it's one God, yeah, like I'm from Nigeria, yeah, uh -huh. I can tell. Um, I have um, a lot of Muslim friends uh -huh. during their festive period, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, a, not only festive period, they used to Ramadan, Eid, etc. Uh, not, yeah. not only that, on other days, yeah. on more days, yeah. Because um, we used to do exchange money, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in their quarters, because they have quarters every state, yeah. yeah. So in their quarters, that's where our shop is. Uh -huh. So every evening or afternoon, they used to sit together. Uh -huh. And they eat together uh -huh. from one, uh, uh, they one dish, like yeah. rice, whatever you know. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I will join them. Uh -huh, that's good. When some people see me, they said, "You know what I mean?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this guy doing? Uh -huh. So it's like uh, trying to differentiate being a Christian and eating with the Muslim. So uh -huh. some people find it like it's not right. Uh -huh. But some people, uh, based on the way they yeah, some people are uncomfortable. But, yeah, yeah. So some people understand it is very okay yeah, based yeah. on their own understanding. Uh -huh. Because for me, I'm not seeing them as a Muslim or as uh -huh. a Christian. I'm seeing them as my fellow human being. They did nothing wrong to me. Uh -huh. And you understand? Okay. So I can sit with them. We eat together. And how does God see them? Huh? And how does God see them? Or Allah? No, no, what I'm saying is, I uh, eat together with yeah, them. Yeah. I understand, so yes. So I'm not trying to differentiate religion or this. Uh, the way I see it as mm. 
they are my fellow human beings, uh -huh. which I have every right to associate with. Yes. The only, the only time, the only time I will not associate with them yeah. is when I find that maybe someone is doing something very wrong or very bad. Do you uh, understand? Yeah. So personally, I uh, think it personally. Oh, maybe this guy is doing something wrong, which is not okay with uh, whether God or whatever, you know. So I will do what? Thank you, sir. I will not associate myself with sir. Uh, yes, sir. So I will not associate myself with uh, with that person. So so things like that. Yeah. Or if I notice that that food has been, if there is any sacrifice which is not of God uh -huh. before that food, yeah, you know, people do something like that. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So, so I, will I, do, I, I would associate myself from that. Okay. But apart from that, can I ask you? I have a question. Yeah. Okay. If a, if a person yeah is alive two thousand years ago and he's following Moses, he's worshiping God. And he's following that which Moses came with, okay? And then Jesus comes. And when Jesus comes and says, I am a messenger sent by God, and God has commanded that you follow my way. And that person says, no. Moses came, Moses, God spoke to him on Mount Sinai. He brought a law. Moses is sufficient for me. I don't, I'm not going to follow Jesus. Do you think that this person has submitted and accepted the will of God? Um, according to the, like as I said, according to what the Bible said. Yeah. Yeah. God said, yeah. he promised to bring a word, a Messiah. Yes. So, but the problem is, based on the understanding and yeah. the expectation of the Jews. Yeah. They expect that yeah. Messiah to come in a different form. Yes. You understand? So now... According to the Bible's yeah, teaching, yeah. So when the messenger came, yeah. they, didn't, they couldn't recognize. Uh -huh. Because the, the way they thought he would come is different way. And God have approved from, uh -huh. from the prophets uh -huh. what will happen when the Messiah will come. The signs they will have. Yes. And even during the, the, the baptism, even during the, um, the, the things he was doing, yeah, yeah could tell what God said about the Messiah coming. He was healing in the uh -huh. name of God. Uh -huh. And he said it, yeah. like he said it, that's myself, I believe in Old Testament very uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. But because of what God said there and what Jesus Christ said, uh -huh. he said, look, I did not come to abolish the Old Testament. That's the law of God. Uh -huh. But he come to fulfill it. Okay. So there is no way he would say nothing like Moses or nothing like this. No. Okay. Do you understand? No, my, my point is, my yeah. point is, just to keep keep it very simple. Yeah. If God sends a messenger and a person rejects that messenger, that it comes to them, the truth comes to them, it's clear, and they say no, I am going to follow the previous messenger. I'm going to follow, worship God according to the previous messenger. But this messenger who came, I, I know he's a messenger, I recognize he's a messenger, but I refuse to follow him. We would say this person has rejected not only the messenger, but he has rejected God, Allah, who sent him. Yeah. Okay, that, that's my point. Yeah. So, so the thing is, when we have a situation like that, we can't say that so many different uh, religions or so many different ways they're all submitting to God because you have to submit completely so even even as a a Christian a follower of Jesus approximately 600 years after Jesus another messenger came with the same message that God is one to worship God alone and Jesus foretold him to come Abraham Abraham foretold him to come so the last messenger so my point is if someone wants to submit to God, they have to submit fully. They have to accept everything that God has said and every messenger that God has sent and every book which has been sent. That's, that's our call. 
Yeah, now, in that aspect, for example, if God said something like that and it, and it, and it happens that way, yeah. So if if someone fails to submit to that authority, that means the person. I, I don't think the person have submitted to the will of God. What God said. Alhamdulillah, we agree. Yes, we agree. Yeah, very right? clear, very yeah, simple. Yeah, very simple. Yeah. So that's that's the truth there. Yeah. So if truly the person believes that God said the messenger a, a messiah will come. Yes. And that messiah came. And the person refused to listen to that messiah or whatever. That means God that person has refused to listen to God. Yes. That person has refused it's to a disbelief. Has a, it's a disbeliever. Yeah. But in terms of other prophets and the whatever, yeah. they are real, they are true, because God spoke to them. Yes. So we still he believe to them, yeah. what they said. Yes. Because if we don't believe what they said, we can't understand God. Uh -huh. Because no one will say God has spoken to, to them directly. No, he spoke through the to, to prophets. Through the angel. Oh, so yes. the prophets who now declare the messenger, yes. the message that to oh, mankind. this is what God said. Yeah. So even if in the in, in the in the Jewish radio, when prophets said so many of times they don't listen, and God will get angry and destroy them. Yes. A lot of times God dis yes. destroyed them because they refuse to listen. Yes. So for for the one that listening, the, the the God will save them. Yes. So that's that's the true clear there. The the, uh, the point there is to believe what the uh, prophets, what they said. Yes. Because if we don't believe, how can we understand what God said? Like God gave Moses the, 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 the Torah, the this, the that, you know. Yeah. So we believe in him. Yes. This is what Moses said, this is what God said. Yes. But still, the, Jew, the Jews, they refuse to obey. You see, even when they, 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 killed, even when, they killed messengers, yeah, even when they, they began they, to worship Baal and stuff like this. Yeah, things like that. They even so, sacrificed their own children. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but this is why Jesus was sent yeah, but to the lost sheep in Israel. The they yeah. were saved, yeah. yeah, up to today, yeah. because of what God said, you mm. know, God swear by himself. Yeah. He said to Abraham that your descendants uh -huh. will be blessed. Yes. This is the, even the message he gave to the other child called um, Ishmael. Um, Ishmael, yes. Ishmael, the first son. So, so it doesn't matter how the the, 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 the child came through, but yeah. God has sworn by himself uh -huh. that whatever that comes through Abraham will yeah. be blessed. Yes. So if you see they, are, they prosper, they do this, they do that, it, it's not like it, it's their effort or maybe they, um, how do they, or they merit that. It's from God's but, mercy. But, because God has sworn by himself yeah. that anything that comes from Abraham will be blessed. Yes. So they are now under the grace of what? God. Not uh, like him. They are more spiritual or maybe they are more uh, perfect or whatever. Uh, no. Because God has said it. This yeah. is his word. And yeah. he swore by it. So uh, and it happens like that. So some some of them might say, who oh, like him. Um, I have some I have some Jewish friends here. Some people, not Jewish, they might say, Oh, Jewish people, they are rich, they are this, they are that, they are prosper. <laughs> when I look at them, they don't read. Yeah. Because it's not like um, they, they read more than others, but or they do business more than others, or no. Uh, but God has spoken that this is how it's gonna be. The problem is the problem is yeah. the problem is if God gives them plenty in the life of this world, but they have plenty in the life of this world, okay? They're successful in a worldly aspect. Yeah. But they rejected the Messiah sent to them. Yeah. And then they rejected the final messenger, yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who came from the line of Ismail. Yeah. And they reject him. These people have been thrown out of the mercy of God. You know, the relationship with the children of Israel was a contract. Yeah. You have to do this, 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 yeah. and God will do this for you. But if you break that contract, so Islam teaches, the Quran teaches very clearly from the time of Abraham, you know, his second son, Isaac, then his uh, grandson, Jacob, Jacob, God changed his name to Is Israel and had 12 sons, you know, all of the messengers, all of the prophets, David, Suleiman, Zachariah, John the Baptist, up until Jesus, they all came from that family line. Yeah. They all came from the children of Israel. Yeah. But the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he came from the line of Ismail, still from Abraham. Let me explain. But when we look at all the previous messengers, yeah. 
They were all sent to a particular people, a particular time, a particular place. None of them were sent for all mankind. They were sent for the children of Israel. But when the last messenger came, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he was actually sent for all mankind from that time until the last day and there'll be no messenger after him. So the point I wanted to uh, emphasize was when we say we submit to God, it has to be submitting to God by, by worshiping, worshiping him alone, by accepting all his messengers. We can't accept some and reject some and accepting all his books. So our call is that you, you do business with Muslims, so you, you get along with you, Muslims, you, but you, you need to, in, you you need to submit Jesus. to Islam. You believe in we Jesus. believe in Jesus, yes, as a messenger. What, what did you call the other me, 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 prophet uh, Muhammad? What? Muhammad. So what, when we said somebody is a prophet, yes. what are the characteristics of a, a prophet? Okay. What do we know as, as somebody as a prophet? What, what are the can things I ans Can I answer? Yeah. Okay. As a messenger, they're human beings, they're men, and they are chosen by God, they're selected by God, and they receive revelation. And this revelation, they are uh, commanded and it's responsible upon, upon them to, to convey it to mankind. They themselves, the messengers, they worship God, they are not God, they are not divine, and they do not deserve to be worshipped. Only God is worshipped. That, that is the messenger. But in Islam, the messenger basically comes with three main tasks. One is to inform mankind who, who so is what God. what are the messages from, from, from Muhammad? What, what are the messages like, you know, as I said, uh -huh. all, the, all the other prophets, when you read the, yeah. the, the Bible, the Old Testament, yeah. you see where God spoke to them. Yes. One after the other. Yes. And they, and they spread the message. Yes. That this is exactly what God said. This is what yes. God said. Yes. So, but uh, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm no not problem. Not much what God said to Muslims. Speak freely. To, 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 uh, to uh, Muhammad. Yes. So I haven't got any word he spread to, to the people that this is what God said. Okay. So I have not no seen problem. it in any, any Bible. Let, let me Bible. answer you. Because First, that's where we know prophets. Okay, let me tell you. Firstly, because it's a big question, so I, I may need some time. Yeah. When it comes to the Bible, Muslims, Islam, the Quran teaches that there are previous messengers, okay, and they received revelation. So Moses, he received the Torah. David, he received no, not the only Psalms. Receiving, God spoke to him and he was yes, saying yes, to people of Israel, this yes. is what God said. Yes, and no, you, no doubt. When you mention all the prophets, yes. yeah, you will see the message let, from let, God. Let, let me finish, yeah. let me finish, and then maybe you'll see, you'll see my point. And then Jesus, he received a gospel. Okay. And this message, basically the message of all the prophets was the same. As I mentioned, it's three things, including the last messenger, Muhammad yeah. Wasallam. Their message was, who is God? They taught the people who is God in terms of his names, his attributes, what God does, okay? That God alone deserves to be worshipped. He's the Almighty. He's the most merciful, the most forgiving, the all-knowing, etc. They taught who God was. Second, they taught how to get to God. What has God commanded? what has God forbidden, and also the messengers themselves, on this point, they were a practical example. They were a practical example. And third thing, there's a lot of teachings of the messengers, but it can be summed up to these three, or these three is the foundation. The third one is, when we die and we go back to God, what is going to happen? When we go back to Allah, in terms of the Day of Judgment, or before that, what happens in the grave, the Day of Judgment, the paradise, the hellfire. So this was this was the message of all the messengers. When it comes to the Bible, we believe the Bible, parts of it were revealed, but some of it has been added to by men. Some of it is being forgotten. Some of it has been taken out. That's why uh, messengers came later with other books. But as for the Quran, Allah himself in chapter 15, verse nine, he says that we are the one who has sent down the reminder and we will protect it. The previous books, the responsibility was given to the people and they failed. Yeah, because where I got confused is because I've, I've read all the, all the, um, 
all the prophets mentioned both in um, uh, both in uh, even uh, Jerusalem Bible, both in um, Jewish Bible, both in uh, a lot of. Yeah. I try to check what the prophets, what the, their message, God really spoke to them. Yes. That say this to my people. Say this to my people. Say yes. this to my people. This is gonna happen. <coughs> say this. So, but I've never come across where he said anything to Muhammad. Ah. Uh -huh. You understand? I've never come across. Have you read the Quran? I'm not talking about Quran. I'm talking about uh -huh. the Old Testament because if yeah. Quran yeah. and the uh, Old Testament, that's where God spoke mainly to, to, to the prophets. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there are things you will see that God spoke directly to, to the prophets. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is, but the problem in the Quran, the Quran is direct speech of Allah to the last messenger to be conveyed to all mankind and it's preserved. So what was the difference between the, the, the Old Testament and the Quran? Okay. Let me make it, I'm going to say three things. The Quran is the final revelation which has been preserved to this day. Okay. So Quran for us is the yardstick. If we have something in the Bible, for example, God Allah, he saved the children of Israel from Fir'aun. He sent Moses to them and he took them out of Egypt. We accept this because the Quran confirms it. If we have something in the Bible, such as Jesus was crucified, we reject this because the Quran says uh, very clearly in chapter 4, that he, they did not kill him and he was not crucified him. Then so Allah can... No, we don't believe it because the Quran has come as the Muhammad Ali. Quran has come as the book to oversee no, and judge the previous books. They killed Jesus. No, they didn't kill him. No, we believe Al Rafa Allahu Ali that Allah took him up, and before the no, day of judgment, he, he will so come they, back again. They didn't, they no, didn't he didn't crucify him. No, he didn't die for the sins of mankind. No. Okay. Yeah. So, which, I, what are what are other prophets in the Quran apart from Muhammad? What are the other prophets? Uh, it mentioned in Quran, I believe 25 are mentioned by name, including Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus. All these, these, these yeah. people, they are still in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Yes. They yes. are all prophets. But the Quran has, but the Quran has, has corrected the, no, what the errors is, and this, the slanders. Prophets, yeah. Yeah, but when you read the Old Testament... You know the Old Testament has slandered prophets? No, no, what I'm saying, you, the you Old know, Testament yeah. is, is not... I would say Old Testament yeah. is different from, from the New Testament which speak about, yeah. about, the, about yeah. Christ. Yeah? Yeah. So what I'm saying in the Quran, yeah. since Quran and Old Testament they are different, right? Yes. So what are the names of the prophets in the Quran, including Muhammad? Uh, Muhammad? As, as I mentioned to you, mm -hmm. Noah is mentioned, Abraham is mentioned, Moses is mentioned, Salih is mentioned, mm -hmm. different messengers are mentioned. So I don't see anything different. Because, because we affirm them and we agree with their messages, but the Quran has corrected it. Because for example, if you know the Bible, it, it's not even nice to repeat. You know the, the Old Testament, the messengers were the best of mankind. They were chosen by yeah. God. You know the Bible slanders them. You know the Bible accuses Abraham of being married to his own sister. But you, how, how, you, you how, understand? how often do you yeah. think uh, God yeah. has spoken to Muhammad? Uh, how often do you well, think? Do you think God spoke to Muhammad? Over, over a period of 23 years, yes. He spoke to Muhammad? Yes, the, the Prophet وسلم, he received revelation at age of 40. Did he spoke to the people of Israel? So he his spoke, message, he which spoke, people did he spread he spoke, he spoke to Musa وسلم, Mo, Moses directly. No, no, no. Yeah. My question is, yeah. when God spoke to the, to, to, to the prophets, yeah. mainly he's talking to them about the Israelites. Yes. So. Is there any way God spoke to Muhammad uh, concerning the Israelites? Yes. Where? Okay. For one side, one side point. I, I've got, I've got your point. One side point. In the Old Testament and in the New Testament, the only prophets mentioned are from the children of Israel, except those who became, like for example, Noah obviously was before the children of Israel. Abraham wasn't from the children of Israel. He came before that. But in, in the Quran, it's very clear. <coughs> Allah said that we sent, 
In every nation, every people, they receive the messenger. Telling the people to worship God alone and avoid false worship. But also, so, the, so we don't just believe messengers were sent to children of Israel. We, sent, we believe messengers were sent, were sent to all people, because all people were created to worship God. But, but when the Quran informs about the children of Israel, it informs about the messengers who were sent to them. It is informed about those who rejected the messengers, those who, tried, who killed messengers, those who changed the words of God with their own hands. It talks about those who, and it talks about those who accepted the messengers and they worship God and they were successful in this life. So it is covered. The, the children of Israel is mentioned a lot in Quran. Yeah, but that's that that that's <coughs> not answered my question because when 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 you read all the prophets, yeah, yeah, when you read all the prophets, you yeah. can see clearly how God instructed them to to speak to the people of Israel. So all of them from A to Z. Yeah, yeah? this is in Quran very so, clearly. So I have not seen where any message he sent to Muhammad to speak to them. Because all the prophets, they are mainly speaking to people of Israel. When they misbehave or when something wants to happen uh -huh. or whatever, God will speak to the prophets uh -huh. to speak to them. So I've never seen anywhere, um, well, anywhere he spoke to... Um, In the Quran? Uh, to Mosit, um, to Muhammad, yeah. to speak to the people of Israel. I've never seen where the people of Israel encountered Muhammad. Okay. In the name of uh, this is what God said. Okay. Do you understand? Well, I'm not disputing Muhammad. I'm, I'm not. Do you understand? I can show you many places. I'm I'm not disputing Muhammad. Uh -huh. Do you understand? But what I'm saying is based on evidence, I've not seen where God spoke to him direct. That said to my people that this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. Okay. But I, I've seen other prophets. I will I will show you where. Do you understand? Okay. So that's that's the thing. But so so so. But my my point is, so you're asking a question, and then if I show you where God commanded the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or where Allah in Quran addressed the children of Israel directly, what will that do? What will, what will that bring about in you? What will that do for you? Will that prove to you that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a messenger? Will that cause you to embrace Islam? No, I'm not saying he's uh, not a messenger. Yeah. You know because. Yeah. I, it, 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 I will not say no because maybe I have not come across. Uh -huh. You know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but for my own understand, from what I read, all the prophets, all their names, I have not seen where God said to Muhammad that said to my people this or that or that. So I have not seen. Okay. Um, I have not it, seen it's, it. it's mentioned numerous times, but I'll show you the first in uh, the second chapter of Quran. Allah mentions so, from. That's the problem. But, uh, uh, I don't see a problem. Yeah, Look, I would say this is problem, but. second chapter, verse forty. It begins by saying, "Ya bani Israel, udkuru nimetul nimetul lati afwan. Ya bani Israel, udkuru nimeti lati an amta alaykum. Wa ofu bi ahdi, ofu bi ahdi kum wa iya ya farhabun. Fa amnu bima anzalt masadiq lima maqum, wa la takunu awla kafirin bi." So here, the Quran which is revealed to the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is clearly the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he addressed, the, he taught the people where Allah said, O oh, children of Israel, remember my favor upon you and fulfill, an awful bi ahdi, fulfill the agreement, the covenant which I have. And, your, and the covenant will be fulfilled with you. It's a condition. If you, do, if you fulfill the, what I've commanded you, then yeah. I will fulfill that which I promised you. Yeah. If you truly fear me, then the next verse says, and, and believe in that which, uh, that which um, believe in what, what I have sent down, meaning the Quran. The children of Israel were commanded to believe in the Quran, confirming that which you have with you with the Torah. The Quran itself, it affirms the, the Old Testament. Uh, and do not be the first people to disbelieve in it. So Allah is warning them, do not be the people who disbelieve in it. Because the thing you have to understand is, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he was born in the city of Mecca. He lived amongst the people of Mecca for 40 years. He could not read, he could not write, 
and they knew him as a trustworthy person. People would trust their belongings with him, they would, so that everyone respected him, they did not consider him a liar. At the age of 40, the angel Gabriel came to him and he received uh, prophethood, he received revelation. He stayed in Mecca, the city of Mecca, for approximately 13 years. And then due to persecution, torture, some of the companions were killed, Allah gave them permission to go to the city of Medina, or Yathrib it was called. In Medina, at the time, there were three uh, Jewish tribes. There were Jewish tribes there because from their books, they were expecting, they were, they were waiting for a messenger to come. When he came, some of them, a very few, like Abdullah ibn Salam, they accepted him. They recognized that this is the messenger we've been told about and they accepted him as the last messenger. But many of them, they rejected him. And the reason why they rejected him, they said there is no way that we are going to follow an Ishmaelite. So the thing is, the Quran, this is one example, chapter 2, verse 40 and 41. And it continues actually addressing the children of Israel and it talks about their crimes they committed. So. But the thing is as well, uh, chapter 7, verse 158, Allah his, uh, commands his messenger, Qul ya ayyuhan nas inni rasulullahi ilaykum jami'an. It's not only for the children of Israel. Allah commands his messenger, say, so say to the people, O mankind, I am a messenger to all of you. So the previous messengers of Bani Israel, they were only sent to the children of Israel. Moses was only sent to the children of Israel. David was only sent to the children of Israel. Suleiman was only sent to the children of Israel. Jesus himself was only sent to the children of Israel. But Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because he's the last messenger, he has been sent to all mankind. Whether the person is white, black, European, Asian, Arab, African, he is the last messenger and it's upon all mankind to accept him. And that is the only way a person can submit. If a person says, I believe in all of the messengers, but I reject the last one, that person is a disbeliever. Okay. Um, can I ask you one question? Yeah. But so far, if is him, it clear if, what I said? If him, I'm not, I'm not disputing what he said. Are you accepting of, it? Because, because of, um, but are you accepting because of uh, my level of my, my level of understanding, uh -huh. you know, because the more we go, the more we'll understand. 100%, so there are yes. things I don't dispute. No problem. I have not, for example, if I said to you, if somebody said to me that now, that somewhere now, uh, somewhere now is maybe raining or whatever, I would yeah. say, no, you say lie. lying. You understand? Uh -huh. Because I have not been there. It might be true uh -huh. that it's raining there. You I understand, I, mean? I so, understand. But I, I have brought you evidence yeah, from Quran. So, so now, yeah. if, um, we submit to what God said. Yes. yes. What do you think God said in terms of circumcision? Because He said that to Abraham. Yes. Do you believe in that? Yes. Do you do you believe in circumcision? Yes. But Muslims they don't believe in that. No, Muslims believe in no, that. Very they clearly. Do they don't do it. They I, don't do it. They don't believe in it. Trust me. I can, I can show you. No, they I'm, don't. I'm, I'm they very don't. I'm very surprised. No, they don't. One hundred percent, they do. They don't. I've, I've encountered some of them. They don't, no, they, you you they can. They said it's not it's not uh, it's not permitted. No, no. Uh, so I was surprised because God no, said no, it dis here. no disrespect. These people are mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, no. You don't need to. I, I take you from your word. If you why? said yes, why no, would you? Ta you don't no, have no. to take it from me. No, no. Yeah. If you said yes, that's why I said to you that in terms of religion, some people interpret the way they want to and the way they feel that. They, it's right for them, uh, but in the book where it's written clearly, yeah, the, it's different thing. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I said to you that if I come across to a Muslim, yeah, who believes in God and do what God requires, of, yes, I'm with the person. Yeah, I can relate with the person. I can eat together with the person. I can do business with the person. You understand yeah, what? I mean? Yes. But. If I come across with somebody who pretended to be doing what God requires, yes. but when you look at the person, he's not even doing it. So, uh -huh. no, I, irrespective of the religion, whether it's a Christian, whether it's a Muslim, I'm not with that person. Uh -huh. Do you understand what I mean? Because my belief is, yeah. if you, someone is truly believe what God said, and check the commandments, love another person, love your neighbor. Your neighbor is not just somebody you live with or uh, whatever. Love my kind. 
you yes. know, don't kill, don't do this, don't, you know, don't steal, don't. Uh, so if someone can can obey, yeah, I would say I'm with the person. But if someone claimed to 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 be a Christian or to be a Muslim or to be yeah. a whatever, yeah. and the person is not doing what God required, I'm yeah. not with the person. I no, don't no. care what religion but, the person but, is. Doing. But let me let me tell you. Yeah. If you have a Christian, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. this Christian is very honest in yeah. their in their dealings. They take care of their family, they take care of their parents. Yeah. If you if you are if you if you tell them a secret, they will keep your secret for you. All of these characteristics are very good. And I can understand that a person would deal with them in the life of this world. But we can never say this person has submitted to God. Why? In this time, a messenger has come, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and that, that Christian has rejected him. No, no, also, you're saying, also you're let, me, let me finish. Let me, let me finish there. Let me finish. Let me finish. And also, God, Allah, has clearly said that He is one. He has no partners, no equals, no son, and there's no trinity. So that Christian, even if the person is a good person and we deal with them in a good way, we don't cheat them, we take, we, we want good for them, we help them, That's, that, this is what Islam teaches. But we can't say this person has submitted to God and this person is following what God wants. And, we, and also if this person dies in that situation, he dies in that situation, after the truth has come to him, hellfire forever. So, in that point, yeah, yeah. if somebody uh, believes in what uh, Muhammad said, yeah. yes. And when you look at that person, yeah, the person is killing. The person is doing things opposite. Yes, evil is wrong. So that means when you look at the person, you now see the image of Muhammad in that person. So you ask yourself, does Muhammad uh, teaches you to kill? No. Ah. Is, it, is it what he teaches? No. No, no. Right? I, th I think I think you're no, you're conflating things. Like, for example. If we have a, a bad Christian, we don't blame Christianity. No, that's what I try If we to have explain. a bad Muslim... No, that's what yeah. I try to explain. That's why I said to you. Yeah. I don't care if this person said Muhammad said to him, uh -huh. or Jesus said to him, uh -huh. or God said to him. But what I'm looking is what God said. Uh -huh. Because God said it clearly. Don't do this. Yes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh -huh. Don't do this. So, if somebody said that Jesus interpret this to him, or Moses interpret, or Muslim interpret to them. Yeah. And when I look at that person, the person is killing, the person is doing things opposite. Uh -huh. That means, I would say to the person, one, you are not following what God said. Two, this person you said that speak to you. Yeah. If truly, that's what he speak to you, that means it's evil. Do uh -huh. you understand what I mean? If, for example, a Christian is killing somebody and say that is what Christ said to him. Uh -huh. That means he's doing something that Against. Christ did not say. say. Yeah, I so agree, hundred percent. In, in every religion, we have yeah. the bad ones. We have we have the good. Ones. Yes. Some people have the Bible. One uh, hand. Yeah. They use the other hand doing to kill. Yes. Yes. Do but understand? but the thing so is, I will not. Yeah. Take the person's word that that's what Jesus said. No, no. no. But but we are we are calling you. We are calling you, and we are calling mankind to Islam, to follow, to worship Allah alone and to accept the last messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad So what's the difference from we're, we're, what Allah said we're not, from what other prophets said? We're, we're not calling you, we're not calling you to follow a corrupt or an evil example of a Muslim. We are calling you... So what did, what did Allah say? What did uh, uh, Muhammad say? God said to him? What is the message? His message? What, what are his message? His message is vast. Uh, as what, it is, what do you say? The main, the main point of the message is to worship God alone. Okay. Uh, let me explain to you one verse, one chapter of Quran. Okay? It's, no, no, no. I'm saying. But this is what he came with. No, he came with saying, Quran. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. What do you think is his message from God? His message. Mm -hmm. I can give you details. But first, okay. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said 
in an authentic hadith. So this is a, a narration which we can trace back to him, generation after generation, person after person, narrated by Abdul, Abd, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. In a, you can find it in Bukhari and Muslim. He said, Bunil Islam ada khams. The Islam is built upon five pillars. So no, 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 I'm not saying, but I'm, I'm, saying I'm telling this, you what he's teaching. This, um, let me, let me finish. Message. Let me finish. The first pillar of Islam is none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. And the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. Second pillar, to establish the prayer, to pray five times a day. The third pillar is the zakat. Zakat is if you have wealth and you collected wealth over a year, whether it's uh, cash, gold, silver, camels, cows, sheep, according to each one, a wealthy person after one every year, they have to give a portion of that wealth to the poor. That's the third pillar. The fourth pillar is to fast in the month of Ramadan, which we're in now. If a person is healthy and able, then from uh, sun up to sundown, a person abstains from eating and drinking and, wow. marit and marital wow. relationships. Wow. I'll tell you why. And the last one is to perform the pilgrimage once in a lifetime. Why is the question? Firstly, when a person worships, worships Allah, Allah is not in need of our Allah worship. Is God, right? Yes, God. So if a person worships Allah, worships God, Allah is not in need of that worship. It doesn't increase the sovereignty, the might, the power of God in any way. If all of us, we reject God and disobey God, it does not harm him or lower him in any way. So that worship is for our own benefit. When a person, for example, when a person worships God and places alone, the person has tranquility, the, purpose understand, the person knows the purpose of their creation. They place their, their love with God, their fear with God, their hope with God, their trust with God. That's the benefit. When a person accepts Muhammad وسلم, as the last messenger, then he has become the best example for us to follow. So he was the best person in terms of being a husband, he was the best person in, in uh, taking care of the elderly, he was the best example of how to worship Allah, he was the best in every way. So that's what we, the benefit we get. When a person prays five times a day, then five times a day, they come out from their worldly life and they place their forehead on the ground and they worship Allah. They're fulfilling the purpose they're created for and a person has a connection with Allah. And also that, that connection with Allah it brings about Allah's mercy and the person's sins are forgiven. The zakat is something which it, it benefits the person who has wealth because his wealth becomes purified. But also it benefits the, the, uh, the poor. The wealth is, like for example, if I give an example, a person who has 25 camels, sorry, a person has five camels, they have to give a sheep. A person, for example, has 40 sheep, they will have to give one in, in charity every year. So basically, if a person has a, uh, wealth they have to give 2.5 percent if this is truly given and it's circulated amongst the poor then this benefits all mankind and it benefits the poor firstly fasting when a person fasts Allah says um, all you who believe fasting has been prescribed upon you like it was prescribed on those before you so it was prescribed on Moses, Jesus, Abraham and their followers. In order a person may obtain righteousness, awareness of God. So that when a person fasts, when a person feels that hunger, they feel that weakness, it, it draws a person close to God. And also, we should remember those people who don't have wealth. That's why a lot of charity, alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah is given in the month of Ramadan. Because people, they, they understand what it means to be hungry. And then last Hajj, when a person goes to Hajj, I think you know, being Nigerian, you have more awareness yeah, yeah, of Islam. Yeah, yeah. When, especially when the men, they put under two, you know, it's called ihram, they put under two white cloths. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're a president, doesn't matter if you're a king, doesn't matter if you're a movie star, doesn't matter if you're a pauper, everybody wears the same thing. And then you stand in front of Allah and you perform the Hajj. This makes you realize who you are. And when you see the vast amount of people, then you realize what the, you have some idea what the Day of Judgment is going to be like. Also, all of the Hajj is all in, in uh, remembrance of, of Abraham and what he done with his wife and his son when he left them in the, the desert.
That's the, the, that's, that's the reason why we so, have the five so pillars what, of Islam. What, 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 uh, all the all the prophets, yes, all the prophets from God, yeah. What why what makes you think that Muhammad is different from them? You say among the yes, prophets yes, of God, right? No, as in we, from one aspect, mm. we don't say he's different. Why? Because we believe all the prophets so who came with in, the same way. Do you believe in other prophets? Yes. So why do you only choose this one? No, 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 no. As a Muslim, we have to believe in all the prophets mentioned. Okay. So do you believe that Jesus is a prophet? Yes, a messenger. Yes. Do you believe in him? Yes. I thought I thought I made that clear. So, so that's what I'm saying. That means. But we, we don't believe he's God. Eh? We don't believe he's God, and we don't believe he's part of a trinity, no, and we don't believe Jesus, he died for Jesus, the sins of Jesus, mankind. Jesus Christ, is, he said, he is the son of uh, God. We don't accept that. The Quran rejects it completely. So, because everyone, including you and me, is created by God. Yes. We are the son of... Salaikum. We are the son of who? Yeah. God. No. No, no, no. I'm the Jesus son of my Christ. parents. No, no. Jesus, we are yeah. God. No, we don't no, believe that mankind no, is son of God. God, yeah. yeah. God, He created everything from Adam. Yes. Yeah. From Adam. Yes. Yeah. So through Adam came who? All mankind. That's what Ad saying. Adam so, is our father. Yes. So who created us? God. So if God created us, we are His product. Yes, we're His creation, but we not His, his son. Product. Not His son. No, no, no. You know, if I if I make something, no, no. If I'm I make saying, a table, no, if I make no, a no, chair, no, it doesn't. No. It never becomes my no, son. No. If if yeah, if. He said it even through the even to the to the. That's why I said if you read the prophets clearly, uh -huh. you will see where they said, "You people of Israel, God is angry with them. You come back to your father." And even he said it. He said, "They are my children." No. He said it clearly. No. Let me let me. You see, so let, he said it clearly. Let me tell you. Let me so tell you. Even he said, okay. it, "I brought my children." Let me out tell of you. What the land of let Egypt. me, Hosea. Uh, chapter 11 verse 1 that I have brought my children the children of Israel my I brought my son the children of Israel the Bible says it look listen listen no, the Bible said the li prophets. Li listen to me carefully yeah. listen to me carefully listen to me carefully that's why I said you believe listen. in other prophets listen. so if no. you don't believe what they said no that means you no listen listen, listen, to, listen to me carefully as I said mm -hmm. we believe the Quran came to call mankind to worship Allah alone and and to correct Quran is it different from the Old Testament? Yes. Who yes. Wrote the, who wrote the Quran? Le, from le, who? Le, let me finish one point. The Quran came to correct the Quran errors and the lies. Look, look. That, if Quran uh, is correcting, yes. Quran cannot correct the word of God. That means it's a different thing altogether. You read it. That's why. Because he said his uh, word don't add, don't subtract. So if if but if, people some, if something come to correct, nobody will correct the word of God. Okay. No one. Okay, let me ask you, mm -hmm. because you, Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm sure as, as many Nigerians do, you have knowledge of the, of the religion, of the Bible, of the Old Testament, the New Testament. The first five books of the Bible, okay, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Numbers you, Deuteronomy, who wrote it? Look, who wrote it? Forget about who wrote it. No, it's no, important. It's, is, it's important. No, no. You know, all these interpretations. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not talking interpretation. No, no. no. What yeah. I'm saying, but the one you are reading, yeah. is an interpretation of what somebody no, wrote. No, no. Somebody wrote this. The Quran is the Quran yeah. is only the speech of Allah, no, no, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Only one prophet you are reading. Yes. That's what I said. Yes. So if you can only read only one prophet, yes, and you believe only that one prophet. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. okay. I, so, I think you misunderstood. So Quran, Quran yes. is written by someone. That is an interpretation of a prophet. No, it's not an interpretation. No. It's an interpretation. Look, it's, it's, look, this is this it's what word we are for word, the word of God. Yeah. Bible, Quran, yeah. whatever, yeah. anything we read, uh -huh. it's an interpretation of what someone said. No, that's what you misunderstood. Let, let me let me explain. So so when this Quran yeah. I've put together somebody <coughs> print it, right? Then Bible, whatever, is written by somebody. Isn't yes. It? Yes. Yeah? yes. Yeah. Then we take it and we read. Yes. Try to understand. Yes. What are we understanding? 
Okay. We are trying to understand what happened. It's like a history. So no. We, we, no. 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 Let, Look, Bible, Quran, all of them, they are the living word. Okay, listen. But it's something that happens. Sir. Previous sir, centuries. You said what you said. Yeah. I've understood what you're saying, and I disagree. Now I'm going to tell you why I disagree. Okay. You listen to me, yeah. and then, well, you listen to what I'm going to say. Okay. Once I finished, then you can see if what I'm saying is reasonable, yeah. if it's correct, yeah. or you can make comment. Look. Yeah. The previous books given to the people have been corrupted. I'll explain to you. Take the New Testament. The New Testament. As you know, 27 books. Okay? You have four Gospels. So You have so the Acts. No, if, if that yeah. one is corrupted, so you believe that Quran is not corrupted? 100%. That is where you get it wrong. Because... Okay, can you the, show me? No, no. Because... Because I mean, it, it, look, look, if I make a claim, I should be able to yeah. support it. Because, if you because, make a claim, you have to support you know it. Yeah. Because yeah. both the New Testament, yeah. both the Old Testament, yeah. the New Testament was an interpretation of what the Old Testament but it's not the said. Word, but it's not the Word of God. The, well, that's the Word of God. Look, Where? The Old Testament okay. is the fulfillment of the, the New Testament is a fulfillment of the Old Testament. For example, now, if a prophet said, this is going to happen in the next this, this 10 is, years. Okay, wait, wait. this is your this belief. This is your belief. Wait, wait, Prove wait. it. Wait. If, if, uh -huh. if, uh, if yeah. the prophet said, yeah. this is going to happen in the next 10 years, yeah? Yes. Then in the next 10 years, that happened. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, he said it today. 10 years is a yes. bit far. Yes. And the thing come to, 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 to as it, the, the, the prophet said. Yes. So when you read the New Testament properly, uh, yeah. yeah, you will see that all the things happening in the New Testament is exactly what God said right no. from the beginning I, I, that it's gonna happen. Let me demonstrate to you. Even look, even uh, even even the problem the Jewish people have, yes. yeah, God have already said it. Let me let me so, demonstrate so, to you. Okay. So if you if you want to if you want to make uh, believe one hundred percent in God, yes. first of all, you don't have to subtract or add or do this for this work. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, let me tell you. The the first five books of the Bible. So, wait, Hello, wait, let me, wait, no, let me, no, no, sir, sir, sir. Okay. If you believe in Jesus, Jesus is in the New Test Old okay. Testament. I'm, look, wait, wait. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> you make your point. I won't say anything. And then once you once you finish, I will make my point and you won't say anything. So, you said you believe in Jesus. Yes. yes. So Jesus is in the New Testament or in the Old Testament? The New. So, why did you believe? You're asking me? Yeah. I believe in Jesus because Quran told us about Jesus. But is it the Old Testament? Yes. No. No, 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 no. Let me let me It's not in the Old okay, Testament. Okay, let me let me it's in the Old Testament. Let me answer your, let me answer there. let me answer your question. Yeah. I believe in Moses. I believe in Jesus because the Quran has confirmed it and Quran has informed us That's of it. That's what I said to you that Okay. New Testament is the fulfillment of Old Testament because Christ came based on the revelation of the Old Testament. God have proved it there from the prophet. He said, "This no, guy will come." No, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give, let me give you a very clear example. I want you to look. No disrespect, person to person. I want you just to listen. Let me finish, and then think about what I'm saying. Don't don't yeah. listen to me and yeah. thinking. An answer, interrupt me. Yeah. Why, how are you going to? I'll give you a very clear example. I'll show you where the New Testament has misused. Salaam Has misused. Everyone good? No, I was born in Riyadh. Alhamdulillah. I know, I know you. Alhamdulillah. I just want to see you. No problem, no problem. So the, old, the New Testament, it quotes from the Old Testament. But he misquotes it. Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 15. Okay. It mentions the story of the birth of Jesus, which is not mentioned in any other gospel. And it's mentioned because Herod wanted to kill all of the children in Bethlehem, all of the children. 
Let me finish, please. All of the children in, in, uh, in Bethlehem. Don't worry, you finish and doctor. No problem. Him. He knows more than you. So, so, according to the Gospel according to Matthew, Joseph and Mary took the baby Jesus to Egypt. Okay. When they heard about the death of Herod, Matthew says, in order to fulfill, or words to this effect, in order to fulfill what was mentioned in the Old Testament, out of Egypt I will call my son. Okay. So Matthew is quoting the Old Testament to say, the Old Testament is saying that the Son of God, who you say is Jesus, will come out from Egypt. Okay, when we go back to the Old Testament and we go to Hosea chapter 11, verse 1. Hosea, whoever wrote Hosea, he says, he, he, he says that God has said, my son, the children of Israel, I took them out of Egypt. And then after taking them out of Egypt, they began to worship Baal and other false gods. I'm paraphrasing, but you can go back to Hosea chapter 11 and 1. Okay. So here, the author, the unknown author of the New Testament, who they call the Gospel according to Matthew. If you read the Gospel of Matthew, nowhere does it say, I, Matthew, am a disciple, I am an eyewitness, I am writing this, I am inspired by the Holy Spirit. This is a Christian belief. The book itself doesn't say it. But the author of Matthew has misquoted the Old Testament. 100%, without a doubt, that is not from God. Okay. So if you believe in Jesus... Th think about what, what I said, don't just answer no, something else. No, if you believe in Jesus, what makes you believe in Jesus? The Quran has in, uh, affirmed that he's a messenger sent to the children of Israel. The Quran mentions him. No, yes. It's a message. It's a messenger. It's a a messenger. Not, not God, not the Son of God, not part of a trinity. And not a, not a human sacrifice. So he's a messenger. Yes. To, to the, the people yeah. of Israel. Yes. So you believe in him. Yes, you 100%. You believe in, 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 in the, everything he does, like the healing and all that is. I, I believe in Jesus yeah, believe according to he, what the Quran says about him, yeah, but do you believe, not what uh, the Bible says about him. Do you believe his work? Do you believe the, the things he did? The yes. Healing, yes, yes, yes. What power did you use? Firstly, Jesus had no power from himself to perform any type of miracle. It was all power from God. Exactly. Okay. Because, so, he, because he wasn't God. So. So he, he, could, that, he cured the leper, so he brought a man back to life. That's what I want you to believe. And that's come. That, I, I do that believe, brings, thank you very that, much. That brings me back to what I said to you before. Ah. What I said to you before is, irrespective of religion, uh -huh. if anyone is doing yeah. what God said, remember, some you people, can't. look, remember, okay. some people, uh -huh. they are not Christian. Uh -huh. They are not Muslim, uh -huh. they are not Hindu, they are not anything. They don't believe in any religion. You see people like that. So, so they, but has the message come to them or it hasn't no, come no, to them? Wait, wait. They don't believe in anything. Okay, okay. Look, but, but, I, I, but they because, know, but they, they know. believe there is God. Okay, but they don't believe in the message because it hasn't reached them. They're living in the, in the wilderness. Or are you saying the message came? But, but look, what I'm and saying they, is, And they didn't what, accept what, it. What, what I'm saying is... There's, but, there's but, a big but difference. Based on, yeah. based on humankind, yeah. they don't... They, they, they do, in knowing, unknowingly, they do what God requires. Do you see people like that? No. There are a lot of people like that. No. I'll give you but, a but, look, but, but, I'll give you a No, no, but I, I want to know, yeah. when you say someone who is a good person, they recognize God, they worship God, but they don't follow any religion, any religion or they don't yeah. follow any messenger. Yeah. Is, it, is it because, look, it's, it's going to be one of two. I just want you to think and answer. Is it because they lived in a place or a time when no messenger came to them? They never heard about it. Like they're in the wilderness or they're in a forest or they're living in London, they're living in Lagos, they're living in uh, Riyadh, they're living in Washington. They've heard. They heard about Jesus, they heard about Muhammad, and they said, no, I'm not going to follow, I'm just going to worship God. If it's this one, then we say this person is a person on their natural state. This person, God will judge them and deal with them according to his 
mercy according to his justice. But if it's this one and they rejected a messenger, they're not doing what God wants. That's no, my answer. No, no, no. For example, as I said, yeah. I, I don't reject any messenger as long as it's from God. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. As long as whether Muhammad, whether Jesus, whether whosoever, as long as that messenger is from who? God. But. Why but? The, the thing why, is. Why but? No, the thing is. Yeah. What I will reject, not that person, yeah. that, not that messenger, yeah. but is the follower of that messenger who is not doing what God requires. Do you get what I, I mean? Un I so understand. For example, I give you an example before. Uh -huh. If a Christian who said he follows what Jesus, because Jesus is a messenger, he, 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 yeah. he spread the, the, what God said. So if someone said he's a Christian, he's following the message of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And when you look at the person very well, the person is doing something opposite. I, said I, I, I need to ask. I need to ask a question. Okay. When when you say he's a follower of Jesus and he's doing something different, so he yeah. could be cheating, he could be lying, yeah, whatever, fornicating, anything I mentioned. But what I'm saying is that person. But does he believe in the Trinity? No. no. I'm asking. Does he no, does he believe does he believe Jesus is God? Because no, he said he's a Christian. No, what I'm saying is yeah. Jesus never said he's God. Uh -huh. Jesus. He I said, agree. He said. He said. I am doing what my father in heaven sent me. He never said he's God. He never used the word father, but anyway. He said, he said, uh, ac even, according, even, according even, to the Bible even, authors, even, but even, not, no. Even, even, even yeah. when he was, um, when, 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 they, when they were looking for him, he said it, he said my father. Even when they uh, asked him to teach them how to pray, he said, this is the way, our father. Said, no, said, this is what who at in heaven. this so is this they, is what the this is what the authors of the Bible the unknown no, authors of the no, Bible no, said. But you can't prove that Jesus said no, it. No, what I'm saying is Mark, so, Matthew, no, no, Luke, no, no. and John. If their we, names no, given we, after. If, we, yeah. if we're talking about proofing, yeah. you remember that you you never saw Muhammad. You never Salah saw Allah him. Allah. So no, I never saw him. him. Question, answer. Because the Quran. And his teachings came. We have yes, his teachings preserved. It. No. So if if some no if, no if somebody believes in what Jesus Christ said, that uh -huh. person believes. Yes. Because of the teaching he received. Ah. Uh -huh. Do you understand? So if if for example, if I believe in Muhammad today, yeah. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I believe because of the teachings and what I read from the book. Yes. Because Muhammad never talked to me directly. Jesus okay. Christ, I'm speaking based on his message. Okay. So. For example, if if in a family, but there's a big difference, sir. There's a big difference. There, no, the there is a big difference. The difference is, is we have the Quran, yeah. we have the Quran, we have the Quran, memorized in writing, yeah. memorized by heart. From the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it was it was recited, it was revealed, recited, memorized, practiced in his lifetime, in his in his generation. And then it was to the next generation, to the next generation, to the next generation. Let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. But when it comes to the New Testament, when it comes to the gospel according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to Luke, according to John, these were all written after Jesus was taken up. Jesus was never aware of these Gospels. He was never aware of the, the letters of Paul. He was never aware of the book of Revelations, however much people claim. None of these books claim to be by, by eyewitnesses. This is a, an outside belief added later. So you can't compare the Quran with the Bible. Okay, also the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Every hadith, every statement of the Prophet every action of the Prophet to be accepted, to yeah, be accepted. Were you there when, they, when he sent the message? You, you know, wasn't. you know, I wasn't. But, exactly but so, so how do you? Uh, no, because we, we, have a, we, have, we have an unbroken chain, no, no, no. You, we were which not you don't have. This yeah. is what happened century, 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 uh -huh. century ago. Uh -huh. yeah. but we believe it yeah. based on what what people said to us. Uh -huh. it's, it's a belief. Yes, it's, it's a choice. Yes, you, you know that. Yes. So belief of course is a choice. choice. So someone can believe hmm. to, 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 to somebody can choose to believe. It. Thank you, madam. Do you see that? Someone can believe to choose. Somebody can uh -huh. choose to believe. 
Yeah. But whether it's fact or not, but it's belief. I see you see that. Ekhan. Do you get my point? So, you, <laughs> Mohammed did not speak to you. It's ah. something that happened century, century, century. So, yes. why you believe is because, number one, either you are born in a Muslim family, yeah. or you are married a, 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 a Muslim wife, or you live in a Muslim community, or you go to a Muslim school, or in one way or the other, you will what? Um, Captured. No, I embraced Islam. Hmm? I, I, I embraced so Islam. So how do you become a Muslim? When I was 19, well, before I was 19, I studied, I looked. Exactly. So how did you study? The book you study, you were not there when you but, got to read it. It's no. belief. You choose to believe. Okay, let me explain to you. There is a difference. What difference? There is a difference. What difference? The difference is that when we claim something to come from the Prophet Muhammad in terms of his speech, in terms of his actions, we but have... He, but, but you don't know him, you never see him. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Okay. I'll give you, if you be patient, I want to give you a practical example. Not a practical example, what I'm saying is, yeah, what you are reading yeah. is something that you read in centuries, 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 centuries back. No. Do you understand? Yes. When was Korea written? Okay. But the Quran yeah. was written on parchments, on scraps in the life of the time, lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then it was written all together in one book in the lifetime of the so, first Khalifa, the first two years of, of the Prophet Muhammad dying, it was written so, down in one book. So do you believe that God but, but, gave Moses... But, uh, but, uh, but, let me finish. Torah. But, the Quran is something which is memorized. You know this anyway, you're Nigerian. It's memorized by generation, by generation, hundreds of thousands of people. So if someone, for example, today, they make a mistake, they slip, they're reading Quran, they're leading the prayer, and they make a mistake, he'll be corrected like that, because people have memorized okay, it. Okay, can I ask you a question? Do you believe that God gave Moses the Torah? Do yes. You believe in that? yes. So the Torah, is it different from Quran? Yes. That's where the problem is. So, how many God do we have? No, 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 the teaching is not different, but it's a different book. No, no, we have one God. I think, move to the side so, slightly, sir. Do you, Thank you. do you believe that God gave Moses is it, is, Do you think the Quran and the Torah is the same book? No, no. So they're you, different, no, do you but believe, the message do you is the believe, same. No, do you believe God gave Moses the Torah? Let me answer. Yes, yes, no? yes but... So it's le, No, 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 let me, let, me, let me finish, let me finish. Moses received the Torah from God, okay? The yeah. Word of God, the speech of God. And that's what Moses taught his people. Yeah. But what the Jews have today and the Christians have today is not that Torah. It's a corrupted text. It was written hundreds of years after Moses. It wasn't see, written in the lifetime of Moses. That is where you get everything very wrong. Because if you say this... Have you, have you, have you read, not, you say I'm, I'm not talking Muslim scholars, have you read what biblical scholars have said about the Old Testament and who wrote it? The Book of Kings, no one knows who wrote it. The Book of Chronicles, no one knows who wrote it. The Book of Judges, no one knows who wrote it. Yes. In terms of, in terms of uh, religion, yeah? Yeah. This religion will encounter this religion, this religion will encounter this religion. This yeah. So, any, any uh, or whichever we try to paint the other one, uh, Color. The other one will try to paint the other one color. Do you understand? But but that's in, why Allah has in, sent a last in, book, in, making in it very clear. Book, yeah. In everything. Yes. But the Quran you have was yeah. written centuries, centuries back by what someone. Yes. So we read. And so but, what I'm saying to uh, you is, yeah, we read and believe by what by choice and yes, by of what we are convinced. Of course. So. That's why I said to you, if, for example, you were born in a Christian family... I was, I was, maybe, I was born in a Christian family yeah, in a, in a Christian why, country. So, that's why, but you choose yeah. to believe in what you want to believe. After studying, that, yeah. Yeah. So, that is a choice. It doesn't yes. mean that the other one is wrong or right. But... Of course it that, means... No, no. Of course because, it means... Because... Two, you, two, if, two, separate, no. two different things can't be both no, right. Because if you yeah. said that, yeah. all through the Old Testament, yeah. I have never seen where Muhammad is mentioned. So, uh -huh. so, if Old Testament is corrupt, that means the Word of God is corrupt. Uh -huh. 
you uh, understand what I mean? So, no, 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 so no, no, what no. we are reading, no. what we are reading, uh -huh. and what we are believing is something uh -huh. that happened. Century, even uh, how many centuries? I would say. But what uh -huh. happened is we grew up and we listen, we read, we uh -huh. understand by choice. By choice, yes, because we're accountable somebody for our can, choice. Somebody can and wake people, up now and say, people can make a wrong choice and people can make a right yeah, choice. So what I'm saying but is, the, but you wrong. have to, no, you have to understand. You have to understand. You have to understand. So L listen, listen carefully. Is, listen uh, carefully. The Bible is corrupt. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. My point is, the truth is one. The truth is not multiple. The truth is one, and that one yes. is uh, let believing me, God. Let me finish. Mm. That truth, which is one, it has been. God did not leave us blind and lost. Rather, he sent messengers and he sent books. And whenever the message was lost, forgotten or changed, then let me finish, then God would send another messenger. So when the, the Jews or those people who claimed to follow Moses changed the message of Moses, forgot the message of Moses, went against the message of Moses, then God by his mercy by his justice, he sent Jesus to the lost sheep of Israel. When those people who claimed to be followers of Jesus, they began to lie, saying that Jesus was God, he's the son of God, the Trinity, saying that Jesus was a human sacrifice, then God, Allah, by his mercy, by his justice, he sent the last messenger for all mankind. Whoever will accept his message and will follow it, that person will, will enter paradise by God's mercy and whoever rejects it and turns away the hellfire. That's Muhammad, right? In a, yes, 100%. So, other, 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 um, other messengers? We yeah, believe in all make, of them. Hmm? We believe in... Look, that's what I want to understand. We believe in so all of them. If, if that's, that's, that's the point I'm making. Uh -huh. I don't understand. I really. I think we yeah. are saying the same thing. That's what. I'm, that's why I ask. We're not you. saying the same thing. What, no, I'm asking you. What do you believe in? Other messengers, other prophets. You yes. Said yes. Yes. Do you believe in Jesus? You yes. Yes. So, but not the lies which have been made against him. We don't believe he. We don't believe he's a human sacrifice. Did, did Jesus lie? No. Who lied? But people lied about him. People. Yes. That's what I'm the, saying to you. The unknown authors of the Gospels, no, no. they lied about him. No, no. Paul lied about him. The church lied about him. That's why Allah, from his mercy, sent a so, final messenger so how did you know to make clear. Huh? How did you know? Somebody told you, right? The Quran has informed us. The speech of Quran Allah. Is a book. Yes. Somebody wrote it's it. A, it's a speech of Allah. No, no. Somebody uh, wrote it. That's yes. a hate book. It's a hate because book. Because when someone... Yeah, Why did you it become, when did it become a hate book? Because when you read uh -huh. and you encounterize another prophet that is saying lie. Uh -huh. No, I, no, no, you no. Understand? Listen because carefully. that's what he tells Listen carefully. Listen yeah. carefully. You read it from there. Listen, there listen carefully. No, no, listen, I ask I you, don't, how did you no, know? No, I, I don't believe any prophet lied. All the prophets told the truth. The messengers no, no, told the truth. But, but I, believe, I believe that people lied about them. People lied about them. No, I'm talking about the, the, the did, pe did, the did people messengers. did people reject messengers? Of course. People did people did, did people kill messengers? Of course. Did people lie about messengers? Of course. That's my point. We agree. Of course. We agree up and to that people, point. That's what yeah. so people too so people lie, lie about Moses, um, and Muhammad. Okay, but but yeah, people they lie about him. But we have a a system, a way no, of no. checking what he said is correct, or what what. We attribute when we attribute something to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have a method, so you, a way of think, saying something is think, authentic, you think, you and way some say something abrogated. Do you think it's Do you think there is anywhere they authored for that? Authored? What do you yeah. mean authored? Like, uh, is there some things that you think that maybe they they manipulated in Quran? No. No. no, no. You believe that there are things that manipulated in Bible. I, I gave you an example. That's why I said that I, you said. I, I, okay. you, no, no. I gave, said, I, I gave you an example. Said, I, get, did, you said, I gave you an evidence, example and you didn't answer no, it. And the evidence came yeah. from the Quran. No, no. I gave you something from the Bible. So how did Matthew you know? chapter 2, verse 15, going back to Hosea, he lied and misquoted Hosea. No, no, he didn't. Okay. He didn't. 
because uh, everything God said about yeah. Jesus Christ come to pass. Remember, these are the proph prophetic words. Uh, not you, not me, it's from God. Everything from God is true. Everything from yeah. the messengers is true. So, but who, not who, everything who, that was written about them was true. Just, you you just said that people lied on messengers. Of, of course, they are human yes. beings. They can lie, even including Muhammad. People can lie. No, them, but. no, not as a messenger. The messengers don't lie. The messengers tell the truth. That's that's the difference. No, no, no. What people lied is, about messengers. No, no once. Yeah, yeah, people. But, yeah, but so but, people people lied about Jesus when they said that he is he is God or the Son of God. People lied about Jesus in the Trinity. No, Jesus Christ never even himself. Uh -huh. He said his Father. When you have a Father, uh -huh. that means. Uh -huh. What are you to the person? You are the son to that person. Uh -huh. And Jesus and God created everything, both uh -huh. you, both me. So we are his product. So what happened is... We're not his son, we're his product, we're his creation. I am his son. Uh -huh. Understand? He's my father, you, he's my maker, you may he's, believe my that. he's my creator. You may believe so that, but that's what, he's your creator, but, happened, but not your father. What, what happened is, yeah. all, the, all these prophets, uh -huh. yeah. I believe, what they said because uh -huh. God spoke through them. Uh -huh. I will never say this is um, saying the truth uh -huh. or this one is saying the truth. Not, not the truth. Because what I'm reading yeah. is what have been written centuries, millions of years ago. You understand? I wasn't there. So uh -huh. I cannot dispute it that no. This because for example, that's Sir. why I asked you when did uh -huh. Quran read it? You wasn't there. It's, it's something that I read, but you believe based on what somebody told you. No, I, I believe in the Quran. So how did you come okay. to become a Muslim? Okay. Wait, how did you become a okay. Muslim? How did you become a Muslim? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've already answered. So how did you become a Muslim? Okay. Yeah. How I become a Muslim or how, how I believe in the Quran? No, no, no. How did you become a Muslim? <coughs> From how? the age of 16, 17. No, how, how? How did I become a Muslim? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do to become a Muslim? No, no, no. How? Because, for example, for you to believe in something or yeah. to, to, to listen to something or whatever, you, you didn't like uh, woke up from... Uh, oh, no, I was, I, I, was, I was told about Islam. I was informed you, about Islam. By who? By uh, somebody? Yes, a Muslim brother. A human being. And you believe? I believe in what he said, yes. You believe? Yes. So, did you write the, the Quran? Did that person wrote the Quran? One, one minute, one minute, one minute. Yeah. One minute. That person, did he that, wrote the Quran? Let me tell you something. Yeah. I never wrote Quran. No, that person did. never wrote Quran. Exactly. I never saw the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu exactly. Alaihi Wasallam. That person so never saw the Prophet. Okay. So, your question is, how do we know the Quran is a speech of no, no, Allah unchanged? No, 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 I'm unchanged. not talking about the Quran. How did you believe that those things are real? What they told you is real, is, is, is the right thing. Because the message was very simple and very clear. Based had, on your own understanding. But do you know me, that there are some people that they send the same message, they couldn't get it right? Let me they tell you. See it let me tell, let That's me, why I said this le, choice. Le, let me tell you something. Let me yeah. tell you. Yeah. Why is it simple and why it's very clear? Because when Allah created us, okay, yeah. all mankind, he placed, he placed mankind in front of him before we was in this world. And he said, Allah to be Rabbikum, am I not your Lord? All mankind said, Qalu bala. All mankind is born upon fitrah, a natural state where they recognize God is one. So when a person came to me and taught, explained to me the teaching of Islam, that God is one, he has no yeah. partners, yeah. no equals, yeah. then my heart accepted it. You, 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 gave me the, you gave me the answer I want. You know the uh, answer I want, the, what I asked you? Yeah. How you become a Muslim? You said somebody yeah. spoke to you, right? Yes. About who? Yeah. Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. Yes. You, from, from what the person told you, <coughs> you believe. Uh -huh. He wasn't there. You didn't know whether the person is lying or not. Do you I, understand? Because that person uh -huh. wasn't there when the Quran was written. Never see listen, Muhammad. Listen, listen. No, no. You believe. Listen. No. Based on. But do you. Wait, do you but, what the person but do you. Said. Listen, listen, listen. But you know, yeah. a person says something. Mm -hmm. You're making it out to be some simple thing. A person says something, and when they say something, some things which are true are very clear. Some things which are false are very clear. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Some things which are false are very clear. And then there's also those affairs which require research, some study. So those affairs which are very clear are very clear. When someone says God is one, 
is very clear. When someone says that God is a trinity, it's clear that it's false. When someone says that God is one, but he has a son, it's clear it's false. But the oneness of God, worship God alone is very clear. The human heart accepts it. Now, but when you're going to say, is the Bible the word of God? Is the Quran the word of God? Then you can research and you can study and you can check and you can verify. You don't just accept it because I was born in this village or I was born in this town, I was born in this country or my parents are born. You research. So I'm telling you what I've researched about the Quran and about the Bible. Sir, I think that we've been for a long time. Can, and, I, can and, I be excused? And, and, yeah, I can and, make your last point. Yeah, and the same way, yeah. somebody else was told about this. Uh -huh. And they research about uh -huh. it and believe that what they said to them is true. Okay. So, so I don't think that's, that's why we have the day of judgment. So, so that, that's why we have to believe uh -huh. in what we believe and pray that let it work for us. Okay, as sir. long as it's one God. Thank you very much. Understand. All the best. So as long as you believe in Jesus as a messenger, as a prophet, you believe other prophet, same to me. I believe Muhammad, if he's a prophet, I believe. Jesus, why prophet, if? I you can't say if because he I have is. not seen his name in the Bible, in the, in the Old Testament. Okay, because sir. Old Testament is what God have, brings. Have to you read Moses. Can I give you a Quran? I have one at home. Okay then. Thank you very much, sir. All the best. Yeah.